Immortals have heard of the tale of the crab. Maui was hilarious, Moana was powerful, and Tamatoa was so interesting that I've continued to wonder about him since it feels like we know so little. Tamatoa breaks forth walls and loves to entertain and sing, but what I find the most interesting is the little oil lamp sitting within his treasure. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I'm going to explain how Tamatoa's life may have been affected by the genie. Isaac, you may ask, what are you suggesting here? I'm saying maybe Tamatoa didn't begin his life as a monster in Lalotai. The lamp on Tamatoa's back has an identical physical appearance to the prison oil lamp for the all-powerful genie in the film Aladdin. And Tamatoa does state, Tamatoa hasn't always been this glam. I was a drab little crab once. Indicating he wasn't always the giant monster we see him as in Moana. Maybe, just maybe, Tamatoa received some wishes of his own to allow him to gain his massive form. His interactions with the genie would also explain his self-awareness within the film. Tamatoa did break the fourth wall twice through his references to the audience and pop culture, just like the genie. Plus, he appears to have eternal youth, something normal crabs just don't have. But would it even be possible Tamatoa could have met the genie since he is freed at some point? Well, yes it is possible. Aladdin takes place around 800 CE. And since the events of Moana all occur around 0 CE, then that means the genie would still be tethered to his lamp. The genie also states, 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck! But since Tamatoa has been alive for a huge amount of time, since he references being alive for Maui's origins, then this still shows Tamatoa could have been one of genie's masters. Since Tamatoa himself states he was an ordinary crab at one point, and in Moana he possesses a massive form and supernatural wall-breaking abilities with the genie lamp on his back, then I think it's possible he used the power of the genie to transform himself into a giant, intelligent, powerful monster. But that only accounts for one wish. What about the other two the genie is required to give? Well, to figure out what else he would wish for, we have to know what else he valued or desired. There are really only two things shiny gorgeous treasure, and the heart of Tefiti. If all of this theory was true, why wouldn't Tamatoa wish for the heart of Tefiti, since we see him searching for it since Maui lost it years ago? I think the heart may have been something the genie could not control or summon, because it was just too powerful. It was a small item, sure, but it had the power to create life itself, and was an item directly linked with the gods. I don't think the gods would allow their precious items to simply be teleported by less powerful magic wielders, which is why Maui had to travel to Tefiti to steal it originally. So if Tamatoa couldn't get the heart directly from the genie, then he most likely used his wishes on his treasure. He could have used a wish to create all the gold and shiny items he could have ever dreamed of, but with all of that treasure comes a price. I'm sure he learned quickly or feared the inevitable thieves and crooks who would try to take his riches. Tamatoa just seems extremely protective of his items, so it would make sense that he would also use a wish to protect and seal off all of his treasure from thieves. Maybe he would wish for a place where only worthy individuals could enter. A place where if you try to even touch any gold, the hideout would collapse and destroy its inhabitants. Tamatoa would need a place large enough to be filled with gold, probably should be secluded, and it would need to have the genie lamp within it. Tamatoa may have wished for the Cave of Wonders. Tamatoa probably wanted it accessible only for the diamonds in the rough, meaning his treasure could only be obtained if you were beautiful and wealthy because that's what he believed himself to be. But the genie interpreted his wish to mean the good-hearted. The genie did know he would be locked within the cave as well, simply awaiting his next master. He manipulated the wish so Tamatoa's vault of gold would one day only be accessible to Aladdin. You're a lot smaller than my last master, either that or I'm getting bigger. This video was sponsored by my patrons over at Patreon. Patreon is a voluntary pledge service where you can support creators like me while also earning exclusive rewards. If you are interested in donating to help grow the channel, check out the page at patreon.com slash watsovideos. If you'd like to continue to theorize on the connections between Moana and Aladdin, then I will leave the links to the movies and resources I used in the description of this video. So now it's time for your thoughts. Do you think Tamatoa owned the genie? And what do you think he wished for? Let me know in the comments section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, then consider subscribing to Watso Videos and click the bell if you'd like to be notified when I post. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.